Hi, Dana here. Welcome to So Learn Create. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Today's project is a wrist rest. It's for a mouse, so it goes under your wrist when you're using your mouse at your keyboard. It's a really simple project and it only takes a few supplies. So, let's get started. So today's project is a wrist rest for your mouse. So your wrist fits here and then it just elevates you your wrist so that you can use your mouse a little easier. So it's pretty simple to make. It only takes a few supplies. You're going to need two pieces of fabric, and I think I'm going to use this coffee fabric here. Two pieces of fabric that are four and a half inches by four inches. So you need two of those. And you could make it out of the same fabric, or you could do two different fabrics. It really doesn't matter. So you take and put your fabrics right side to right side. And we're going to clip. I'm going to use my red and green clip system to leave an opening on one of the long sides. So I put my green clip where I'm going to start. I put my red clip where I'm going to stop. And this leaves my opening. So when I stitch around that opening, then I can use it to turn. And then I just put my other clips on the other sides to secure it while I'm stitching. When we go to the machine, we're going to start at our green clip, stitch all the way around, stop at our red, leaving this small opening so we can turn our project right side out. So let's go to the machine. Now we're at the machine and again, we're going to stitch from our green clip all the way around, stopping at our red, leaving this small opening. I'm going to remove my green clip, slide it in. I'm going to use the edge of my presser foot as my guide and keep my fabric lined up with my presser foot. So that gives me a little bigger than a quarter inch seam allowance. Always start with your needle down. When I get to my corner, I'm going to leave my needle down, lift my presser foot and turn, and just keep going. down and turn. One last corner. And remember, I'm going to stop at my red clip. So that'll be in my way when I'm stitching. So I'm going to remove it and put my finger there. And that reminds me where I need to stop. Backstitch a little bit, pull it out of our machine, clipping my threads, and we'll head back to the mat for the next step. Now that we've stitched all the way around, I like to take and make sure that I caught every corner and every edge. So I just flip my project over and check my stitching and it looks like we're good. The next thing you're going to do is you want to reduce the bulk in your corners. So you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut diagonally across that corner, making sure you don't clip your stitching. And you're going to do that on all four corners. Now our project is ready to turn right side out. So find your opening. I like to stick my finger in there, take a good chunk, push it out from the opposite corner and that gives me a big chunk to hold on to. Makes it turn a little easier and faster. Then to get those corners nice and crisp, I'm gonna use my chopstick and gently push out those corners on all four sides. All right. Now we have our wrist rest. We're going to give it a quick press just to make sure that the top edges here turn under. So when we get ready to hand stitch that, it's all nice and neat. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fill your wrist rest. 
and I'm gonna fill mine with rice. I just got this bag of rice at the Dollar Tree, but you can use any kind of regular rice. Open it up here a little more. And I'm gonna use a small funnel to put right inside my opening, if I can find it, there it is, in the top. And then I'm just gonna use my cup and I'm gonna fill it up. And you might have to work at it a little bit using that small funnel. You're gonna fill it about two thirds of the way full so that it lays flat it gives you enough of a rise on your wrist, but it's not stiff. Because the purpose is to make your wrist more comfortable when you're using your mouse. Let's tap it down. Maybe. We're about halfway there, so we're gonna just fill it up a little more. It probably takes about two thirds of a cup of rice to do this. I didn't measure it exactly because depending on the size of your rice grains, it could vary a little bit. <clears throat> Almost there. These uh, wrist rests work great for gifts for coworkers or dads who spend a lot of times or moms on their computer. There's, they're an easy project for kids to make. Almost. All right, there we go. So as you can see, that is about two thirds of the way full. So that when I lay it flat, it's gonna have enough of a cushion, but it's not gonna be real stiff. So then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stitch it closed by hand. So I've got a needle and a thread, and I'm gonna start by putting my needle on one side only, pulling it out so my knot is on the inside. Then what I wanna make is very close stitches, so I'm gonna pull my thread over the top, and I'm gonna go through both pieces and pull it back out. And that will seal it up nice and secure so that the rice doesn't come out. I'm gonna do a couple more for you. So see how that is on the top and it's really close and it's nice and secure for that rice to be enclosed. And you're gonna go, whoops, because you don't want that happening. So we're gonna go all the way across until all of our closure is complete. So I'm gonna just put my pin there so I can show you what it looks like. Then when you're done, you just lay it flat and then your wrist is here and your mouse is here. Now our wrist rest is complete. And remember, it goes under your wrist and, and when you're using your mouse on your computer or your laptop. I hope you liked today's project. And if you did, be sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment below and tell me how many owls you found in today's video. Thanks for watching So Learn Create. See you in the next one.